two will be 5 grams or 10 grams clamshell casings. Ziploc bags are flimsy and can easily tear. Clamshell casings are sturdy and hold your products securely if you store them safely. By now, you already know that every handmade Inti product is first created in its loose form. So whenever you have created a product such as an eyeshadow, blush, highlighter or finishing powder, instead of just scooping that product out completely and storing it in a large jar, consider storing the product in your clamshells. This is a method that has worked for us and we hope this will prove to be useful to you. Now, you will be having the question in your mind, but this will only take up a lot of space in my working area. Not really. See, whenever we create a new product, we will first create it in a very small batch. How small? Well, the product's amount will only be about two tablespoonfuls. That's it. That's all you need to do. For each clamshell, about 5 one eighth of a teaspoon of product can go in there. We will store the product this way and any remainder will just go into another clamshell. This is where our initial testing of products will begin. If you are interested to know how we conduct our initial tests, do comment below and we will make a separate video on that. So all your initial testing of the product will only be done for one clamshell of the product. The other clamshells will remain untouched. Why do we do this? We would really like to compare the differences and make notes before deciding to stick to the original formula or to use the new recipe. This will also help us with future product recipe making. There is no point in testing a product that you really like and then you totally destroy it, rendering it useless and you'll have no other choice but to redo the product from scratch again. By just testing one clamshell if the recipe tweaking didn't work and we hated the color, well, only one clamshell worth of product has been lost and we will make notes of this so that we wouldn't conduct the same test again in future. So let us know your thoughts on this if you would like to see our initial tests.